welcome to a new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you a brand new drone, or actually it's a tank, from rcmoment.com. For your very own, check out the link down below. Now, this is not just an ordinary drone, it's actually a tank and a drone all in one. So I'm really excited to try it out. But before we do, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before opening it up. All right, so this here's our box and on the cover itself, it kind of shows the actual drone, but it actually does look like a tank at the same time. So it's actually a very unique idea. Now it does show it on the side here that it does have a tank mode as well as a drone mode. So with the switch of a button, it'll actually change. And then on the back here kind of shows it how it looks like as an actual tank itself. So let's go ahead and open this up a little bit more and see what's on the inside. All right, so on the top here, we do have an instruction manual, uh, kind of just basic guidelines on how to actually set it up and as well as fly it. Uh, so it's really simple in terms of most drones. So let's go ahead and open this up a little bit more. And then on the top here, we actually have our controller itself. So let's take a look at that. So this here is our actual controller, and as you can tell, it's quite easy to use. Uh, simple controls with elevation as well as rotation. And then we can always hit the transformation button, which I still don't know how to do yet, but we'll find out shortly. And then over here, we actually have, uh, looks like an actual adapter itself, uh, which will actually go onto here so we can actually connect our phone. And then we actually have a few spare parts, of course. And then here is the actual drone itself. Now this here is our USB uh, charger, so you just plug it in and we're good to go. And huh, wow, this thing looks quite interesting. Um, so it does actually have wheels that turn and then kind of looks like a tank, kind of rolls easy too. And then it's got these fans, which I imagine kind of open up and kind of flies around. Now it does have a camera itself on top too, so it actually does give you like a live stream footage. So I'm really excited to try this out. Uh, it looks like a pretty good quality material. It's got a few different colors on it, which is quite nice. Uh, the tires are actually, actually don't, these are rubber too, so that's actually pretty interesting how they set that. And you can always change the actual uh, alignment on the bottom. This is where the battery plugs into, and I believe these just kind of like come out like so. Alright, so let's go ahead and go outside and take it for a test flight. All right, so let's go ahead and try this out. Now, the interesting thing about this actual uh, drone itself is that it actually drives as a car. So literally, hit forward, left, right, and literally, it gives you the full control of an actual RC car. Now, the unique thing is, for instance, if I stop right here, and I press this button here on the top left, and there you have it, we're ready to fly it. So let's go ahead and try this out. So it's actually got a very nice, stable flight mode to it. Uh, literally, if we bring it up close, you can actually take a closer look at it. Literally, it's a tank flying in the air. It's actually pretty interesting. Let's see how this thing flies. So it does have a camera on it, so you can actually get a nice live stream on it while you're doing it. But uh, let's go ahead and see how high this thing can go. It's kind of interesting seeing a tank kind of fly in the air like that. So yeah, it does go pretty high. Let's go bring it back down. And then if you want to go ahead and bring it down for a landing, let's go ahead and bring it down just like that. And then we just go ahead and hold this button here. And then it'll go back into an actual RC mode. All right, well, there you have it. With that being said, back to the studio. All right, well, with that being said, this drone, or actually RC car, is quite some fun. I really like the way they designed it, and with all the different lights on it from the front to the back, it makes it really cool. Now, the transition of it actually being able to hold a button and seeing it actually transform is really cool. And literally just like that, we have ourselves a drone. So it's actually a really cool concept and I really hope to see something like this catch on more. If you have any questions about the drone, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Take care now, bye bye.